The A-10 Thunderbolt II was deployed in the 1970s to survive shots from anti-armor weapons. It's inaccurate to call a fighter. Instead it's a flying gun, known as Warthog since it's very ugly. For the past 30 years, it has attacked hostile targets that threaten troops on the ground with close air support. It's about as sophisticated as a hammer, but it's heavily armored and wickedly armed, making it an incredibly effective weapon. The mean Gatling gun in its nose is only part of its design logic. Its large ailerons and straight wings make it extremely maneuverable at low speed and altitude. It can also take off and land quickly, since this plane often operates from frontline airfields. The wing skin is not load-bearing, and it can be easily repaired on the ground. The engine's position protects it from flying debris on runways and from detection by infrared surface-to-air missiles. 1,200 pounds of titanium aircraft armor protects the A-10 cockpit and parts of its flight control system, which are designed to withstand direct hits from armor-piercing missiles. What do you think? Subscribe folks!